Hi everybody, so I have a gorgeous model today. Her name is Maddie. Maddie is actually Molly Sims's cousin. She's so beautiful, she's super young. Maddie has struggled a little bit with her skin the last couple of months. Today actually she said it's the best her skin has looked for a really long time, but she does have some breakouts and so many of you always ask me how to take care or how to do makeup on troubled skin. So I'm showing you today step by step a really great and easy way how to do it and uh, I hope you like this video. Keep on watching, leave me some comments and as always thanks for all your support and thanks for watching and I see you next time. Bye! Alright, so I'm starting with Maddie with this Kogan Doe Foundation in shade 123. Uh, Maddie, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to show all of you, I mean, we wanted to do a troubled skin tutorial with you today. Your skin actually is looking fantastic. Um, and I'm just going to teach everyone how to kind of like take care of troubled skin, how to apply the right way, uh, the uh, foundation. And I chose this lightweight Kogendo foundation because it's water-based and especially when you have sensitive skin like you have at the moment with some breakouts, you don't want to like really mask your skin uh, everywhere. You just want to keep it really natural everywhere else. And then after I've applied the foundation, I'm going to go in and spot treat your uh, blemishes. It's really important, I think, for, for people to know that you don't have to mask your entire face with tons of foundation. So I just kept it really light with the foundation, and now I'm going in with a product by Kevin Aqua. It's a really heavy uh, foundation. It looks like that, but I also like using it for spot treating. Uh, another option would be something like this Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Maximum Cover is fantastic for spot treating. Uh, another product which I don't have with me at the moment, but um, Vichy Derma Blend makes a really uh, it's a really good price point and it's a great product for for spot treating. I'm using my Kevin Aqua and I actually like using a 217 brush by Mac. And I just apply a little bit of the product on my brush. And then what I do is, if you look at me, I go at the areas where I feel like it needs some spot treating. And I go with my product and then I use my hand and I just kind of dab it. Just to make it look more natural. And then I go on each I mean, it's a little bit time consuming and it takes a little bit longer, but the end result is really great. You can also use a thinner brush, something like this, and then just go directly on the area you need, you need to have treated. Then you take your finger. You can also take a little beauty blender and just buff it into the skin. I like using my hand because I like the temperature um, between your a natural body temperature and the skin. It just kind of warms it all up and makes it more blendable. Underneath your eyes, I chose this Marc Jacobs pen in the shade 2. And I like it because it's, it's a product all in one. You can use it underneath your eyes and this metal part right here has sort of like a cooling effect. So when you apply it, just feels very nice and cool, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then you can use a, a fluffy brush like that. This one here is a Tom Ford. And you just buff it in. And it's it's really light. And I mean, you're so young. You really don't need a lot underneath your eyes. And this is basically just like a highlighter, a concealer, uh, all in one. And then you just buff it in. It just brightens your under eye area really nicely. We'll do the same thing on the other side. You can first apply it directly out of the pen, again for the cooling effect. And then we take our fluffy brush, this one here is by Tom Ford again, and we just buff it in on the bottom. And again, really lightly because you don't need a lot of concealing. All right, I chose a powder by Chantecaille. This here is a pressed powder. 
it's the HD perfecting powder. I like using a powder puff, especially around the troubled uh, skin area, like right around your chin. And where you had the most breakout uh, right now is on your forehead. So I'm just buffing it in lightly. Just so whatever we have applied earlier with our concealer, um, that way we don't rub it off. Um, it's just a, a more gentle and easier way of applying it. And then in the rest of the area, you can go in with a brush, something like that here by Bobbi Brown. And then we just lightly powder a little bit underneath your eyes and around your nose area. All right, so for your brows, I just decided to use an Anastasia brow gel. This one is here for um, the, the colors blonde. And I'm just gonna brush up your brows with this product. Do the same thing here. And if you can see, it just gives a really nice little highlight to your brows, really nice. And then I use another spoolie just to kind of brush it out a little bit more. I'm using a mascara and the, this one is here by Lancome and you have great lashes so I don't really need to curl them first so I'm just gonna go directly in and I curl your lashes just one coat just to add a little bit of of depth to your lashes the only thing I decided to do is a Marc Jacobs pencil this is just a highlighting pencil and I'm just putting that in the inner corners right here just to bring a little bit of attention right in here. Just opens up your eyes and it just gives a really nice highlight right there. So again, it's almost like the reversed V right here. So you take the pencil up and down and then you drag it down and then you do a little bit on the lower lash line as well. I'm bringing in is another Shantikai product and this here is the bronzing version. Um, you know how we brought in the uh, pressed powder. This here is the HD Perfecting Bronze. And again, this is a great product. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's a perfect coloring for you. And I just add this just for a little bit of bronzing and also for a little bit of a contour. It's just really nice and subtle. And again, it's really, um, the ingredients of this product are great. It's great for sensitive skin and uh, really great for acne skin. I'm gonna bring in this Tarte product. This is called Tartlet, and uh, the color is just a really pretty, healthy, pinky glow. And again, if you can see, this doesn't have any shimmer. And I'm just adding that a little bit to give you this healthy, beautiful glow on the apples of your cheeks. I just want to bring in this product here by Sisley. It's a floral spray mist. Um, this is different than the Fix Plus. What I like about this product is when I spray it on, especially because we've used so many matte products on you today, and sometimes you just want a little bit hydration during the day. So you can just spray this on your face and it just doesn't it feel amazing. Mm -hmm. Just now you can see on the camera, it just gives a really beautiful hydration to it. And then you can go in with your beauty blender if you feel like it, or let, just let it dry and just kind of like touch it up like that. And you don't feel during the day if you, you know, powder too much, this just gives back your hydration and it just gives you a little bit more of a glow to your face. It's perfect. Okay, last product, I'm just using a lip gloss on you. Um, you have beautiful lips uh, and the color of your lips is so gorgeous. So I just wanna enhance your color by something which is very similar. It just is a shade darker or just a touch darker than your lips. And I love the Burberry lip gloss because I love the texture of it. I actually use this on myself almost every day. I have the same color in my makeup drawer and it's just very easy going, very like you can just throw it in your bag and retouch it during the day. And I just love that it feels really comfortable on your lip. And um, sometimes lip gloss can be too sticky for me, but this one, don't you feel it has a really great kind of mm -hmm. consistency? And uh, yeah, that's your finished uh, look and your skin looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for you to see it.